Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing truck bed perimeter lights for your 2023 Colorado or 2023 Canyon. So stay tuned. So these are LED bed lights that go up underneath your side rails of your truck. These are from GM, so these are your official part number. One cool thing about these are touch sensitive, so you can just touch the light and they'll come on. You don't have to fiddle with the switch inside cab or the infotainment screen, which is kind of an annoyance. So let's check out what's in the kit. So this kit part number, if you want to order your own from Chevrolet, it is 848-61986. Uh, I managed to find these online from a dealership called Flow Chevrolet, which was somewhere up in the Northeast coast, but they sold them for $90 cheaper than what my dealer was selling them for. So in the kit, you get a little piece of paper, which is absolutely useless. It tells you to go to the website, GM's accessory website, and download the installation manual. So when you go there, there's nothing about installation anywhere on that website for this part number. So really frustrating. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. So in the kit, we've got some zip ties. We've got the main harness and then your two, your left and right side lights themselves. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a fairly simple installation. So let's get to it. The people that have a spray in bed liner will have an easier time of installation. Now with the removable bed liner like this, uh, we might have to do some cutting because the how it goes up underneath the bed rail here. So the idea is, is that the kit comes with some screws and in here there are two square holes and those, those accept your fasteners that clip in there and then your light screws to those. The problem is, is this liner is gonna cover up those screw holes. So we're probably gonna have to notch them out once I get the position. But if you have a spray and bed liner, you don't have to worry about that. So anyways, I'll have to do an extra step to get these installed. But if you do have a drop-in bed liner, there's gonna be a fastener right here. You'll remove that and then this comes out fairly easily. So we'll get to that uh, towards the end of the video on what I have to modify. So the first step is underneath the bed area here, kind of right behind the tail light, there is uh, a wiring harness that just has some pigtails attached to it, and that's the pre-wiring loom for the perimeter bed light. So we're gonna go up underneath the truck and disconnect the dummy plug and plug in our harness. So that is the harness that I was talking about. It's right here. You can see there's some pigtails coming off of it. So the connector slides right off. You just kind of push it this way, and it comes off. And then you've got a red tab on this harness and you just flick that out and then um, you can use a little screwdriver to push down on that tab and then this will pull off like that. So you will not need this connector anymore. You can just set it aside. And this is the harness that we're interested in reusing and that ties into the uh, factory light kit harness. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is running our lights um, that go on each side of the bed. However, we've got a slight issue here. Uh, I've referenced some of the other um, bed light installations with the factory kit from the second gen, which is 2015 through 2022. And there's an access hole right there that they would slide the cables through to go down between the bed wall and the outer skin of the uh, bed. However, this connector will not fit in there. It is just too big. I've tried all sorts of things. I've even halfway removed the bed caps here. That have, There's a little tab that hangs down that's directly in the way. I've moved that up out of the way and it still doesn't fix the situation where I can't get it through. So my second best option is to take this grommet out right here and drop it down this way. And the locating screws are those little squares. So that you'll see the two squares right there. That's where we're gonna drop in our fasteners. So the cable will come right down and then I'll reinstall the grommet that goes right here. So I think for now, uh, that's gonna be the best situation for running this wire down on, in between the bed walls. If you guys have better options, please let me know in the comments. 
because I would be happy to redo it if there's a proper way. I have not been able to find any documentation on how to install this, so I'm just going off of past YouTube videos for the second gen trucks and making my own method. So in our hardware bag, we've got four fasteners and four seven millimeter uh, screws. So these fasteners just click into those square holes I showed you. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws started. And it's really tight underneath there to get your hands under there to spin the uh, screw in there. All right, that one's started. So I'm gonna grab my other screw, get the other side going. All right, there we go. That's just temporarily in there. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, which will be the same process. And then once you get the other side mounted, uh, you're welcome to tighten it up all the way. It's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You need to run your wires through this hole where the grommet was. And then next thing is we're gonna go underneath the truck and start hooking up the wiring harness. So now that we're under the vehicle, this is, I'm on the driver's side rear of the vehicle. This is the bed light that I dropped down through the access grommet. And here is our power cable that's from the factory wiring harness. So we're going to take our harness that comes with the kit. That will plug in, the three wire will plug into our light that goes on the bed and then the two wire plugs into the factory harness like so and then you can put this connector back up on the retaining clip like that and now we're going to run this harness underneath around the spare tire and we'll zip tie to the factory wiring harness that's here we're going to go behind the spare tire right in front of the license plate hole, pull this through, and I'm going to go and use the, fat, the zip ties that come with the kit and zip tie to the factory loom so it looks good. Here's the other bed light that's on the passenger side, and we're going to take our wiring harness. I'm going to go up and over the frame. And now we can hook up our passenger side light. Okay, so we are all done. So you guys that have actual bed liners, you're gonna have to cut. And I ended up cutting out a piece of the top plastic of the bed liner to make room for the light. And this guy right here, if you have one of these, this works amazing. Uh, this is also what I used in my other video on installing the subwoofer. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out here in the eye above. So this is how it looks with the cutout if you have a bed liner. So to activate these lights, you hold your finger down on it for three seconds, and then it comes on. And when you're done, you shut it off. You, what's nice about this, you don't have to have the ignition on, you don't have to have the cargo bed lights on or anything. It's just, you just touch it and they're on, which is great. Really cool having the 120 volt socket here. I was able to power up my uh, little Dremel tool here and make those incisions. Uh, there's the other side, I have to put the uh, clip. So there's uh, little clips. If you have a bed liner, a drop in, uh, there's two little clips, one on each side that you have to pull out and then reinstall uh, to get the liner away to get your wires run. So also you can see in that grommet, I made a little cutout notch for the wire to go through. So. If you have a bed liner, you can't even tell that it was, uh, that there's a wire there. So at night, these are amazingly bright. Um, been really looking forward to having some bed lighting. I was gonna do it in my previous 2016 Colorado Z71, but never got around to it. So that wraps up the video. If you like what we do over here at the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for future videos. We've got a couple of other videos coming up in this series for this 2023 Colorado Z71, so stay tuned to the channel. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon.